The 5th of October saw the opening of Philip Guston at the Tate Modern, and fans of the artist have flocked to the museum to see the long-awaited exhibition, including some from across the Atlantic. I'm uh, visiting from New York, so I came to the exhibition because I wanted to see the Tate Modern, and I'm a fan of um, the artist. Uh, I love the colour, um, the way he uses the reds and the pinks, and I like the scale. Um, it just feels very dramatic to me. Assistant curator of the exhibition, Michael Raymond, told us how excited the Tate were to have Guston back on show. We're very excited to have um, Philip Guston on at the Tate this, uh, this autumn and winter. Um, it's the first retrospective of the work of Philip Guston in nearly 20 years. Um, so it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for visitors to come to Tate Modern and to see one of the 20th century's greatest and most influential artists. Someone, uh, maybe someone that a lot of visitors aren't that familiar with, but Guston was someone who, you know, he was very close with Jackson Pollock when he was growing up. He was close with all of the, um, uh, lots of the um, abstract expressionists. Uh, in New York in the 1960s and 70s, um, but who became very well known for the kind of cartoonish paintings uh, from the 1970s that were so influential to the next generation of artists in the 1980s and onwards. Guston's work is known for its socio-political subject matter, addressing themes of racism and evil in American history. The exhibition had garnered controversy for its cartoonish depiction of figures in white hoods, thought by many to be members of the Ku Klux Klan. It was postponed from its intended release in 2021, following issues over interpretation of the hooded figures. However, according to Raymond, the public response has been very encouraging. The response to the show has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, we have lots and lots of visitors coming to see the show. The reviews have been um, um, really positive too. Um, so we're, yeah, we're really thrilled with, with how um, the show has been going so far. While the natural interpretation of these figures would be that they're representing clan members, Guston has been someone who's delighted in the enigmatic aspects of his paintings. What I think interests Guston in the Ku Klux Klan and these like later depictions of them, well, actually he says very deliberately that he's not depicting the Ku Klux Klan. Um, what he's interested in is the hood as a symbol for evil and a symbol for all kinds of evil that can happen anywhere uh, and take place anywhere in the world. It appears that the return of this cerebral artist was well worth the wait. This is Matthew Bowden for The Londoners.